Hey guys, this is how to rig a sunfish. So this red line is the hail yard, and the striped line is the uh, main sheet. What I do is for storage to make sure that the sail doesn't get blown up by the wind, I uh, wrap around multiple times. I actually got stuck out on that island out there. So, um, and I'd get towed back because there was a thunderstorm and then the next day I was going to sail it back and, uh, there was no wind. So, first step is just untie everything. I do have to be conscious though, because this is going to be a mess. And this is like last week, and the winds are finally good for sailing. So, I kind of forgot exactly like how I had rigged it. But, um... It's coming. It's... Here's my new uh, Hero 4 that I got. That thing is insane. Highly recommend it. So once you have all of that, un unwrap the sail. And uh, just get that ready and push it out into the water. Make sure that when you beach it, first things first, make sure that the plug is in. See that? It was out. That's why you double check these things. And then you push it into the water. Make sure there aren't any like big rocks or anything in the water. Because rocks and shit can damage the hull. And that's never good. Just be conscious of your beach. If it's a really rocky beach, you might want to either pick the rocks out or do something different with it. Trailer it. I don't know. So, rule of thumb is when you're rigging any boat, always point it into the wind. So, you take the top of the hail yard and you go through the top of the mast, and I always bite it. Now, with a properly rigged sunfish, the uh, gooseneck should always be on the right side of the sail. So, then with that rigged up like that, you hoist the sail. To, and make sure that where it's tied up to the sail, it is uh, right up against the mast. That will give you optimal performance. Tie it through here. Now notice how I'm not uh, struggling with the sail. It's right there out of my way. That's because it's into the wind. If you don't have it into the wind, then it's just a mess. So then, I always just wrap this up, give it a, a few good wraps, um, take your main sheet, I already had mine threaded through the, uh, the pulleys, and I like to just put a, uh, simple knot, in case if you let go it can't get too far, and it gets stopped at the sailing block, then you don't have to worry about that when you're sailing. Always, always make sure that your rudder is underneath the uh, 
the sail wire. If it isn't, then you're going to know really quick because it won't handle or shit. Make sure that's not going to go anywhere and that's free to slide. And then, just for my purposes, I'm going to uh, attach the GoPro 